Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Can't go that close to the water, buddy. Come here. Thank you. Hi, guys. Good afternoon again. You watching the duck? Hi guys, good afternoon. Once again, this is Tiffany. This beautiful guy you see in front of you, of course, is our gorgeous Titus. Beautiful, beautiful boy is enjoying this gorgeous day, relaxing at the park for a little while. I know it's nice, huh, buddy? It's nice, isn't it? So I thought I would take this time to do a quick update on Titus. He is good with dogs. He's good with everybody. He is absolute perfection. He loves every person he meets. He loves every dog he meets or has met so far. He's fine with cats. He's great with kids. He is just great with everybody and everything. He is just a fantastic, fantastic baby. He is still living 24 hours a day at the animal hospital, unfortunately. We do not currently have a room open for him at the rescue house, and nobody has stepped up to foster him locally, so he is at the hospital still. He is undergoing therapy six days a week. He's four days at the hospital that he's staying at and then two days, Monday and Tuesday, I pick him up and bring him to Healing Paws and he gets his acupuncture therapy and his water therapy at Healing Paws. What's that, buddy? There's some big iguanas over there fighting. They look like dinosaurs. They're he so huge. Right? Not, not phased by it at all, are you? As you can see, there is tons of wildlife here at the park. There's cranes, there's birds, there's ducks, geese, giant dinosaur-like iguanas and he is just completely relaxed taking it all in George you offered to foster Titus are you local to the Fort Lauderdale area he needs to be with somebody local, somebody that's not gone eight hours a day. Um, he does need to continue his therapy. So there is some um, stipulations to foster, obviously. Did you send an email to 100plusabandondogs at gmail.com? Hey, buddy. He is doing a little bit better every single day. 
He had his acupuncture yesterday and his water therapy yesterday at Healing Paws. He also had it on Monday. He does really good with his acupuncture. He actually falls asleep. They do points in his hip to help with pain and then along his legs and in his toes. And he does really, really well. Yes, you do, you gorgeous boy. Yes, you do. You're so gorgeous. Want to show everybody how well you're doing? You get up and walk a little bit. Come on. I'm going to see if I'm able. He wants to stay with me, so I'm going to see if I can get behind him. There we go. Come on, buddy. This way. Come on. I know there's a lot of smells. Not that close to the water, sorry. This way. You can't go to the water. Sorry, buddy. But come on. I want to see if you guys can see he's actually using that bad leg. Let's see if I can get on the other side of him without him trying to get to the water. Nope, nope, I know you're in the water all the time, so you love the water, but you cannot go in that water. There could be alligators in that water, buddy. So that's not an option, sorry. Lots of smells. He's not putting full weight on that leg. I know there's a lot of smells over here, bud. But he is actually placing it, putting it down like he should. He is not doing the hop with both back legs. Come here. I know he just wants to go near the water. Come on. Titus, this way. Titus. Come on. Good boy. <laughs> I know you want to play. You want to play, don't you? But as you can see when we walk, again, let me see if I can get on this side of him, but he's just going to want to go right near the water. He is actually moving the leg, moving the hip, placing the foot down, which he was not doing at all before. Come on, let's go this way. Come on. Nope, nope. There we go, there we go. Look at that. That is huge improvement. Of course, when he wants to pick up speed, he lifts it up and goes back to his hop, but that is a huge, huge improvement from where he was. He still obviously has a long way to go due to the severity of the injury and the fact that he sat so long. He sat a week in the shelter and then it took some time to get the plate made for his leg. So he's got a lot of atrophy on that side with that leg. And that's gonna take time to build that muscle back up. But he already looks a little bit better back here. He's starting to slowly gain a little bit. And as you can see, when he's not running now, <laughs> he is actually placing that leg. <laughs> Thank you, that hit the phone. <laughs> and just to remind you all, he is a happy, <laughs> happy puppy. Titus is only a little over a year old, maybe a year and a half. 
So he's still a baby and he's endured so much and he's been living in a hospital for months now. Hi, buddy. Give me that. Give me that. Give me. You can't eat that. Come on. Sorry. You can't eat that. You could throw it around and play with it, but you can't eat it. So while I brought him to the park today to get him some fresh air and walk around and have some fun, I figured I would jump on to show you just how well he's doing because him walking like this is a huge, huge breakthrough for him because for so long, even after surgery, he just was completely refusing to put the foot down or to use it at all because he remembered the pain and he probably was still in a lot of pain. The FHO surgery is painful, um, especially to large breed dogs according to our surgeon. So it takes large breed dogs longer to bounce back from the FHO surgery which is the surgery that was done on his hip. He also had a broken knee. That is where the plate is. It's in his knee. And he had a broken pelvis. So he had three major issues on this side with this leg that needed to be corrected and now need to be rehabbed. But just recently, like in the last week, he has really started to make strides in the right direction. And as I said, the leg is still weak, so he doesn't always, you know, he just had, he was just knuckling, but then he just corrected himself and planted. So he still has a little knuckling. Not every step is a firm step but it is still steps in the right direction and we'll take it baby steps as we say baby steps but steps in the right direction regardless oops now i'm in the shadow good boy titus good boy He's that squirrel. Alright guys, I'm trying not to get... You cannot have the squirrel. He's in the other tree anyway. He's staring at you. He's staring at you. You see him, don't you? So we like dogs, we like cats. We will chase squirrels. <laughs> There's a squirrel. Oh, but we will leave squirrels alone. Good boy. Good boy. And sorry guys, if you are asking me questions, I will be able to jump back on later to look at them and answer them. But being that I am outside right now with the sun, it's kind of glaring off of my phone, so I can't really see the comments. So I apologize now if you have asked me something and I have not answered, that is why, because I cannot really see it. Come here, buddy, we're gonna go this way. Come on, come on. Good boy, good boy, Titus. Yeah, that's a good boy. That's my good boy. See, now when he wants to pick up speed, he'll pick up that leg here and there to get himself some speed, but then he goes back to placing it. Which again, 
he was not doing last week while he was walking. Last week when he was walking, he was still hopping, kind of like he's doing now when he's picking up speed. But he would put it down when he would play or when he would run and roughhouse, but not when he was walking. This week, he is putting it down while walking. So we are very cautiously optimistic <laughs> that although it is a very slow go in his rehab, that it is working and that we are doing the right thing for him. As uh, his surgeon and both his rehab specialists have said, even if he doesn't regain full control, even if it is at some point atrophied for the rest of his life and not completely normal, it is still better with his leg being like that than removing the leg and him being a tripod. Not that he can't have a fantastic life as a tripod. Excuse me. Give me that. <laughs> Give me that. Can't have that. No. He could have a fantastic life as a tripod, but if we can keep him on four legs, then that's what we want to do. Hold on, let me get your call chain out of the way. Come on. Nope. He is the epitome of perfection, as I stated. He has loved every single person that he has met. He has been good with every dog he has met so far. He has been good with every cat he has met so far. He is living in the animal hospital, so he is around animals all the time. Now he wants to pick up speed. Good boy. Good boy. That's a good boy. Good boy, Titus. Good boy, Titus. Good boy. I'm gonna go find a nice shady spot and go stare at the birdies in the water. And of course, like I said, not every foot placement is going to be perfect. He is still very atrophied in that leg, so he does get tired. Obviously his leg gets tired. He's got no muscle back there. He's got a little bit more than he had, but still no muscle tone back there. What did you pick up now? Thank you for dropping it. Still a puppy, so he wants to put everything in his mouth. No picking up leaves. Hey. Here we go. It's nice and shady over here. 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 Come here, buddy. Come on. There we go. There we go. There you go. How's that? How's that? Nice and shady? Here we go. Hi, gorgeous. Nice and cool and shady by the water. <laughs> Hi. Again, guys, as I was walking around, um, it was really, it's really bright with the sun and it was glaring off my phone so I wasn't able to see your comments. But once I shut down, I can go back and, and read if you guys had any questions about him or his rehab or what he's going through. I'll be able to answer them. What are you doing? Are you eating the grass? Are you eating the grass, buddy? Poor 
baby is everything that happened to him is a result of a clear the shelters day um, at the Broward shelter which is basically you walk in say I want that dog and you get that dog there's no background check there's no asking hey can you guys have dogs where you live do they allow pit bulls where you live do you have any other pets at home it's just okay here sign this paper take the dog no fee no nothing walk out the door and what happened was the people that adopted him got home with him and they couldn't have a dog where they lived so then they gave him away to somebody else and we have no idea what happened with that situation, but all we know is that he found himself on Broward Boulevard in Fort Lauderdale, hit by a car, and left in the middle of Broward Boulevard in pain, suffering, to die. He was then picked up by a good Samaritan, thank God, And he ended up back at Broward County Animal Care Shelter. And that is where he sat for a week with his injuries until we were able to pull him, not knowing the extent of his inner, uh, oops, Did that grass go down the wrong way. Okay, stop eating the grass. <laughs> Not knowing the extent of his injuries, how bad they were, or how terrible he was suffering, we pulled him from the shelter, brought him to the emergency hospital, and that is where he has been ever since. We made sure that he got the surgery that he needed, which included a specialized plate made especially for him with 11 screws for his broken knee. What's in there? What's in there? Get that grass out of there. Get that grass out of there. <laughs> and of course, his rehab to help get him up and moving and walking. Do I get to get you off the grass so you stop eating it? Come on. We gotta sit here so you stop eating the grass. And as I stated also, unfortunately he has to stay at the hospital because we don't have any rooms open at the rescue house for him currently. So he is living there. Uh -uh, don't go under the sign, I can't go under the sign. Thank you. Good boy. Good boy. So I saw one person on here earlier when I could see my screen. I could no longer see it because I'm in the sun again. Um, said that they had offered to foster Titus. Um, but I don't remember seeing um, an email or anything and again you have to be local to foster Titus because he is still in therapy so you have to be local so that you can get him back and forth to his doctor's appointments he has to have a, a recheck with the surgeon in about a week and he is still in therapy so you cannot be working eight hours a day um, because he needs to get up and moving so it needs to be somebody that's home it needs to be somebody that's local has the ability to get him to his doctor's appointments and his therapy appointments but if you think that you are able to do that you can send us an email with all your information to 100 plus abandoned dogs at gmail.com and we can discuss it further I'm also going to put our PayPal link on the video once I shut down. If you could please donate towards his ongoing care. 
As I stated, he has been in the hospital now two months. That is an ongoing bill. He is also getting therapy, which is a separate bill, four days a week at the hospital and two days a week at Healing Paws. Acupuncture, water therapy, laser therapy, TENS therapy. So it is a big expense to get this boy up and walking again. And it is worth every single penny. But we could definitely use your help with the current bill and his ongoing care. So I will post that when I shut down. I am going to shut down now and I think we're going to go over that bench and just sit and enjoy the fresh air blowing in our face for a little while and the quiet. But I wanted to give you guys this amazing Titus update. Stop eating the grass, buddy. <laughs> oh, he's such a puppy. You're such a puppy. So this is Tiffany and the absolutely stunningly gorgeous Titus 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Thank you all for your continued love and support. You guys made this happen.